You're listening to Tim Bolkley's 5-Minute Bible. What about the Prosperity Gospel? Part 1. Grace. I've been asked about the so-called Prosperity Gospel. The claim that if we trust God and claim His promises in certain particular ways, God will bless us. That wealth is a blessing from God. And that there's a kind of spiritual law that if we confess God rightly and then ask for the blessing and of course give appropriately to the church we will be blessed in turn I've been asked what I think about all that stuff well what I think about it is not all that different from what John MacArthur thought about it on the 7th of December 2009 though I must confess it's one of the first times in my life I found myself agreeing nearly wholeheartedly with him usually I prefer John Stott to John MacArthur he wrote someone needs to say this plainly the faith healers and health and wealth preachers who dominate religious television are shameless frauds their message is not the true gospel of Jesus Christ they are not godly ministers but greedy impostors who corrupt the word of God for money's sake they are not real pastors who shepherd the flock of God but hirelings whose only design is to fleece the sheep their love of money is glaringly obvious in what they say as well as how they live they claim to progress great spiritual power but in reality they are rank materialists and enemies of everything holy and as I say I, I tend usually to disagree with John MacArthur in this I'm fairly closely in agreement with him you see the prosperity gospel this claim that wealth is to be understood as a blessing from God and that there's a kind of spiritual law about its acquisition is just plain wrong it's not unlike the retribution principle in Old Testament studies and it's very like the error that Job's friends deduced from the retribution principle the retribution principle as taught in Proverbs goes like this if you follow God's wisdom you can expect to be blessed if you do not follow God's wisdom you can expect to suffer but because this kind of teaching occurs in the book of Proverbs we have to recognize that it's a sort of principle rather than a law a principle is a kind of direction pointing device a law is a rule that must be followed and if the retribution principle was the retribution law then God would not be free for example to offer grace but you see many religious people assume that the retribution principle to be true it has to be true all the time and that reduces grace to a formula how do I know they're wrong well Jesus told us they were wrong he said that God makes his Sun to shine on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous Matthew 5 45 and interestingly Jesus said this as part of his argument to persuade his followers that they should not merely be good to people who are good to them Matthew 5 43 to 47 Jesus also made it clear in other places that the retribution principle is not a law Luke 13 starting at verse 1 at that very time there were some present who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices he asked them do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way they were worse sinners than all other Galileans no I tell you but unless you repent you will all perish as they did or those 18 who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them do you think they were the worse offenders than all the others living in Jerusalem no I tell you but unless you repent you will all perish just as they did in other words the retribution principle is not a law and things that happen to us like towers falling on us or pilot killing us are not necessarily God's reward and punishment for our actions but we are all responsible for our actions indeed in Jesus teaching prosperity is not always a blessing from God Jesus told a rich man to sell everything and give it away before he could follow him Matthew 8:20 and Luke 9:58 for this man his wealth was a barrier to be overcome not a blessing from God and look at Luke 18 especially look at verse 24 Jesus looked at him and said how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God the prosperity gospel is only good news for people who want to excuse their riches for people who don't want to listen to the Jesus who says give it away and perhaps for those who want to be able to claim that their riches are a gift from God because they've been good and not a, a gift given to them despite their unworthiness and look at the other side of it I know many people who do not have much in the way of material possessions but who serve God and he looks after them 
rather in the same way that he looked after the widow in Zarephath, in 1 Kings 17. Yep, God loves giving to people who are in need. But, despite the fact that God loves it, and despite the fact that these people are often good, God doesn't always do it, because there is no retribution law in the Bible. God loves giving to people in need. But American TV loves preachers who want to take. I'm afraid my take on the prosperity preachers is that they are that kind of preacher. And I suggest you don't listen to them. Bye for now. God bless.